Hello everybody, my name is Christian Muñoz. I am a second year master's student under Dr. Hans Stein, and today I will be describing the new calorimetric unit from our monogastric nutrition laboratory. The swine calorimeter unit, or SEU, is located at the Swine Research Center at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. It was built with the objective of determining net energy in group housed pigs and to test the hypothesis that the net energy from individually housed pigs is greater than from group housed pigs. The SCU allows the calculation of net energy, or NE, based on the indirect calorimetry approach, which estimate total heat production from the gas exchange produced by the animal in the respiration process. In this method, the amount of oxygen consumption and the amount of carbon dioxide and methane produced are related in our prediction equation to estimate heat production, or HP, as is shown in figure 1. This equation is correct by urine nitrogen excretion. In figure 2, we can observe a photo of the outside of the calorimeter. The SCU measures 28 meters long, 5 meters wide, and 3 meters high. Figure 3 is showing the plan of the inside of the SCU which consists of a feed storage room, an access corridor, three equipment rooms, six calorimetry chambers, a computer room, and a mechanical room. To give more details about the procedure to estimate net energy, I want to bring your attention to figure one. Here we observe a scheme of a calorimetry chamber and the equipment room. The calorimetry chamber is composed of a main chamber for animal allocation and a secondary chamber to collect total but separate feces and urine. Fecal and urine collection allows for the calculation of digestible energy, DE, and metabolizable energy, ME, respectively. In the equipment room, the air handling equipment for two chambers is located. This equipment includes systems to supply fresh air, to control temperature, relative humidity, and to analyze air samples for oxygen, O2, carbon dioxide, CO2, and methane, CH4. These readings are sent to the master computer located in the computer room where the value of heat production is determined. Finally, having the values for DE, ME, and HP, net energy is obtained. Here we are looking at the chamber features. Each chamber has an airtight door and contains one wet-dry feeder with a capacity of 35 kilograms and an auxiliary drinker to ensure ad libitum access to water. One chamber can accommodate 4 to 10 growing finishing peaks depending on the side. The secondary chamber has four flat screens and two pans for feces and urine collection. In each chamber room, two fresh air supply systems are placed. These systems provide clean air for the air exchange into the chamber and provide the baseline needed for the gas analyzer. The fresh air exchange system consists of a centrifugal inlane fan and an aqua valve. The valve has an accuracy of plus or minus 5%. The chamber pressure is regulated by a manual rotatory plate valve located in the exhaust duct. The chamber temperature can be controlled with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 degrees Celsius and plus or minus 0.5% for relative humidity. This level of precision is ensured by the use of the dew point control system. The rate maximum heat of rejection for each unit is approximately 7,300 watts per hour. The gas analyzer system provides readings of O2, CO2, and CH4 for a subsample taken from the chamber return duct. The readings are provided in percentage units with a high resolution. The swine calorimeter unit will start operating in the summer of the current year. Stay tuned for new upgrades. Thank you for your attention, and if you want to learn more about these or other topics, please visit our website at nutrition.ansi.illinois.edu.